The next one will be the measures of position. There are four types of measures for the position, but for this video, I will focus on the quartile. And then for the z-score, I will cover in my next video for the normal distribution. So what is quartile? Quartiles divide the distribution into four equal groups, as you can see from this picture. So we have this data set and these quartiles, namely first quartile, second quartile and the third quartile separate the data set into four equal groups. So the second quartile also known as the median. The quartiles is important in order to examine the center and the spread of the data. This technique also known as the exploratory data analysis or EDA. To do the EDA, we need to organize the data using the stem and leaf plot first and then we represent the data using the box and whisker plot. So the box and whisker plot must consist of the minimum value or the lowest, the first quartile, the median or the second quartile, the third quartile, and the maximum which is the highest. Let us see this example. So let's say we have the numbers of meteorites found in 10 states of United States. So basically we have 10 numbers. So to construct a box and whisker plot for this data, we can arrange the data in ascending order like this and then you find the minimum and the maximum values and to find the quartiles we need to do like this first we focus on the middle point so middle point means the median or the second quartile so since we have even data set so that means our second quartile will be 78 plus 89 divided by 2 and then to find the first quartile we consider the first half of the data set so we find another midpoint of the first half which represent the first quartile so we get 47 to get the third quartile we consider the second half of the data set and we find the midpoint so we get 164 once you get all this information, then you can build your box and whisker like this. So next, I will show you how to use the Microsoft Excel to build the box and whisker for a given data. Okay. So let's say we have this data. So to create the box and whisker, you highlight all the data. And then you click this button and you find charts and you click more then you go to all charts and you can find the box and whisker over here and you click it and you press ok and then you get your box and whisker so why do you need to know the box and whisker so the advantage of learning the box and whisker is to identify the presence of outlier Outlier is an extremely high or low data value when compared with the rest of the data values. So the presence of the outliers will affect on the reading of the mean and variance and also give the wrong interpretation for a given data set. So that's all for this video and do the tutorial 2 for your exercise. Thank you.